Welcome back to Squawk on the Street. We're getting back to Ida's aftermath in Louisiana. A large portion of gas stations in the state's biggest cities are out of fuel. In fact, according to the latest data from Gas Buddy, more than 52 percent of stations in Baton Rouge and New Orleans are without gas at this hour. Joining us now is the executive director of the Louisiana Oil Marketers and Convenience Store Association, Natalie Isaacs, which represents owners of more than 3,000 stations in the state. Natalie, thank you for being here. I'm sure it has been a very busy week already for you. Can you just first give us a status update on what you're hearing from your members uh, within the state of Louisiana? So, um... Obviously, we were hit, but before the storm comes is when we really started, um, you know, working big overtime in terms of trying to get people ready for the storm and getting people out of um, harm's way with evacuation routes and keeping that um, busy. We first assessed the uh, damage of what was going on. And... Um, we have fuel teams with the state as well and different entities that are affected with uh, fuel and supplying fuel. How cataclysmic was the impact uh, from this storm, especially relative to those historically? So I've been in this position with Katrina and um, it, it seems like we always go back and um, compare so much to, to that storm, but in terms of fuel supply, this is so different. Um, we've had, I think we have eight refineries that are still down out of uh, 19, and that doesn't obviously just supply our area here in Louisiana, but we supply, you know, uh, surrounding areas and the entire country. And so, um, we're seeing, just in my little community, which is in Ascension Parish, we were hit out of electricity and whatnot. Some stations, I'd say about 60%, are able to be open, um, but it's not constant. And so some people may wait in line even for two hours. And then by the time that they get their chance to fill up, it's actually um, the lines are dry if that makes sense. Um, yeah. The lines for our guys picking up at the refiners that are open, um, typically you may be able to get a load a few in 30 minutes. And prior to the storm, some waits for like four hours. Um, in fact, this is, this, is, this is kind of a story that stayed on my mind, but I have a member that actually sent a driver to Pennsylvania the same time, he sent a driver to Opelousas, Louisiana, which is around Lafayette. And the line in Lafayette, the Opelousas terminal was so long, the driver was able to go to Pennsylvania and back and load fuel at stations. The driver in Opelousas was still in line, you know, waiting to get fuel. So um, that just blew my mind. That was a day before the storm. But that is just how, um, you know, we just, we're so dependent on fuel and using it, especially right now we have a lot of generators going right. for people that the power went out and gas is needed for that as well. Yeah, yeah. well, we are certainly sending our best to um, all of the affected people in Louisiana. We appreciate you joining us today to share the story of the gas stations and convenience stores in Louisiana. Natalie Isaacs, thank you. Thank you, Leslie.